This is Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for August 10, 2023. Feast of St. Lawrence, Deacon and Martyr. First reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Chapter 9, verses 6b to 10. Brethren, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that, having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. As it is written, He has distributed freely, He has given to the poor, His righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm Your response It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who takes great delight in his commandments. His descendants shall be powerful on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Your response It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He will never be moved. Forever shall the just be remembered. Your response, it goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. Your response, it goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Open-handed, he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His might shall be exalted in glory. Your response, it goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 12, verses 24 to 26. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will reap it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today's Gospel reading from John chapter 12 verses 24 to 26 calls each of us to serve God and others. Dear friends, we try to do so much of what we want to do for God by ourselves. Our motives are right. Our hearts are right. Our plans are made with prayer. The problem is that we sometimes end up doing everything except the crucial thing. That is, we are not willing to die. 
our identity gets involved in pulling off our plans. Our hopes and our feelings about a Christian service get tangled up in the success of our plans. Today, through the gospel of today, from John chapter 12, verses 24 to 26, Jesus reminds each one of us that there is no harvest without death. The seed has to be planted and die before it can germinate and grow. Jesus submitted everything, including his fears and his friends, his family members, to the will of God. It cost him his life. It won him the harvest. Dear friends, life is not about what we do for ourselves. It is about what we do for God and others. My dear family of Mother Mary's protection, we are born. We are born to be of value to God and others. Not just to be selfishly comfortable in ourselves. Prayer. Heavenly Father, may I be willing to die to the things of myself and come to the place where I can put my old sinful nature in the place of death so that I may be raised as a fruitful branch that honors my God and Savior. Thank you that Christ has indeed swallowed up death in victory. May I live only for his greater praise and glory. Amen. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.